Good morning children. Today we shall learn about few important chemical properties of metals and non-metals. Acid and base are two very important types of chemicals. What happens when non-metals and metals react with acid or base? Let us see. First, let us see what happens when non-metal reacts with acid. Take sulfur powder in a test tube. With the help of a dropper, add 5 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid to the test tube. We see no reaction or change takes place. Next, let's warm the test tube. If we bring a burning matchstick near the mouth of the test tube, nothing will happen. You know, non-metals generally don't react with acid. Next, let us see what happens in the case of metal. We take some sulfuric acid in a test tube and put a piece of zinc in it. If we bring a burning matchstick near the mouth of test tube, we will find that the gas coming out of the tube is burning with a pop sound. It is hydrogen. So, Metals react with acid and produce hydrogen which burns with a pop sound. We can represent this chemical reaction by an equation which is Zn plus H2SO4 is equal to ZnSO4 plus H2. So, when zinc reacts with sulfuric acid, we get zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas is released with a pop sound. What about reaction with base? Let us see. A fresh solution of sodium hydroxide is made by dissolving sodium hydroxide pellets in water. The pellet should be handled with a plastic spatula. A word of caution children. Please don't try this on your own as sodium hydroxide is very dangerous chemical and it may burn your skin. Let your teacher or some responsible adult like the lab in charge do it. So after putting the pellet Let's put a piece of aluminum in the test tube. If a burning matchstick is brought near the mouth of the test tube, we will find that the gas coming out of the test tube is burning with a pop sound. So, it is hydrogen too. So, can we conclude that all metals are equally reactive? No. Not all metals are equally reactive. Some metals react with water, acid vigorously, for example sodium. Whereas some metals do this very slowly, for example iron. You know a more reactive metal can replace or displace a less reactive metal in its compound. Let us understand this with an example. We take blue copper sulfate that is CuSO4 solution in a test tube and add a piece of zinc to it. The blue color of the solution will disappear and some red powder would deposit at the bottom that is copper. This means Zinc has replaced copper in the copper sulfate and zinc sulfate is produced. This kind of reaction is known as displacement reaction. As here zinc has displaced copper from copper sulfate and zinc sulfate is formed. Here the chemical reaction can be represented by the following chemical equation Zn plus 
CuSO4 is equal to ZnSO4 plus Cu. Next, we take this zinc sulfate solution and add an iron nail to it. Nothing would happen. Why? Because zinc is more reactive than iron. So, iron cannot replace zinc in its compound that is in zinc sulfate. Now, if we put iron nail in the blue copper solution, iron will replace copper. Some red copper dust will deposit on the nail at the bottom. Here, iron sulfate was produced in the reaction so the solution will turn green. If we see the chemical reaction here, it can be represented by the chemical equation Fe plus CuSO4 is equal to FeSO4 plus copper. So here, iron displaced copper from the copper sulfate and iron sulfate was formed. So we can say zinc is more reactive than iron and copper and iron is more reactive than copper but less reactive than zinc. Thus in the displacement reaction the more reactive metal replaces the less reactive metal in its compound. So, as we saw, zinc replaces copper in copper sulfate and iron replaces copper in copper sulfate. And reactivity wise, we can say zinc is more reactive than iron which is more reactive than copper. So, among these Zinc is the most reactive and copper is the least reactive. So, to summarize what we learned today, metals react with acids and produce metal salts and hydrogen gas. For example, zinc reacts with sulfuric acid to produce zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas. The chemical equation for it is Zn plus H2SO4 is equal to ZnSO4 plus H2. And what about non-metals? Generally, non-metals do not react with acids. Now coming to the reaction with bases. Some metals react with bases to produce hydrogen gas. More reactive metals displace the less reactive metals from their compound in aqueous solution. Reactions of non-metals with bases are very complex, so we shall study them in higher classes. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.